Switching gears now, a woman injured over the weekend during a motorcycle ride for fallen Auburn police officer Ronald Tarantino Jr. was quickly helped by the Auburn Fire and Rescue. The department's new motorcycle and fire captain were able to respond in less than two minutes. Our Catherine Andrioli joins us live now with more on the department's unique piece of equipment. Catherine. Olivia, the Auburn Fire Department recently acquired an ALS motor unit and they're now crediting that motorcycle for helping save a woman they say was thrown off a bike and seriously injured over the weekend. Get to areas where uh, traditional ambulances and other types of vehicles uh, cannot get. Auburn Fire Rescue has more capabilities thanks to this motorcycle. It played a role in assisting a woman seriously injured over the weekend. Uh, as the ride was proceeding through the town of Charlton, there was an accident involving one of the motorcycles. Sunday, a woman suffered head injuries during a motorcycle ride in honor of Officer Ron Tarantino. Coleman says the woman was thrown from the bike. They were able to respond within minutes. Was able to navigate uh, you know, through the crowd of bikes. From the time we were made aware of the accident until the time he was on arrival was just under two minutes. Auburn Fire Rescue is the only department in the state with an ALS motor unit. Coleman says it's quicker than an ambulance in certain situations. Having the ability to, to have a motor to navigate, uh, in this case, through the 500 some odd bikes uh, to get up to the accident scene. It's the fourth time the department has used the bike and the first time it was used to provide medical help. Lieutenant Scott Henderson is trained for the unit. He says the course prepares for emergencies like the one on Sunday. Top to bottom on how to ride a motorcycle in tight areas, make tight turns, uh, stop at high speed, avoid obstacles. Chief Coleman says the additional unit benefits both the department and the public and has the capability to save lives. To be able to have the ability uh, to travel with a paramedic, have that advanced life support capability. As much as it's about motorcycle riding, it's about delivering emergency care and being ready to deliver emergency care. And that patient was transported to UMass Memorial with serious but non-life-threatening injuries. Olivia. All right, Catherine, thank you for that.